So Hayes, my littlest one, he is, he just turned two and he just got out of the bath. Do you wanna come say hi? Can you say hi? You gotta look up at the camera. I gotta look up here. Can you say hi? Hi. Aw, he's my little snuggle bear. So what do you think of that, about that? That's my keys. Uh, I'll take it. You wanna take it? Mm -hmm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my Gucci Marmont Motlasse bag. Um, I never know how to pronounce that. Motlasse. Montlacé, Montlacé. So it is my Gucci Montlacé in the nude color and it is also in the medium size. So I'm gonna be going over a lot of information about this bag, you know, the dimensions, modeling shots like normal. I'll be talking about the wear and tear, how much fits in it. So I'll be doing a what's in my bag as well. So I'll be going over all the details about this bag, everything you wanna know about it, whether or not I'd recommend it, if I'm loving it, if I'm hating it, all the information. So let's get started. So I learned the name Montlacé is actually a type of leather that has a chevron print on it. So as you guys can see, this bag is known for its chevron print. It is in a lambskin leather, so it is definitely very soft and it is, you know, some people are scared of it. I'm personally not that scared of it. Um, it is, you know, very, very squishy and super soft, a lambskin leather, but it does have the Montlacé chevron print to it. I also have the largest size, but that's also known as the medium. So when you look at it on the website, it's called the medium. This size retails for 2,300 US dollars. So that is the price of this bag currently. Obviously it could change in the near future, um, but overall, you know, that is the price right now. And I do think for a designer handbag, that is a pretty good price point, especially when you're comparing it to say Chanel. Now the thing about that is though, Chanel obviously, I think when it comes to their flat bags, they are a lot more structured. I think long-term they're going to last longer um, but as far as this bag is concerned you know I do think that that particular price point is actually really good which at the same time $2,300 for a freaking bag is insane so that's a whole nother story I, I honestly see both sides to it and sometimes I wrestle with the fact that like I'm spending so much money on a bag just being real so like I mentioned this is the medium and I just really loved this size I know a lot of people love the the small size and the mini sizes and then the really really mini sizes that are coming out now but I just really liked this size because it is a, a little bit larger it does hold a lot of my items um, and then the small size that this comes in is very very similar to most of my shoulder bags in my collection and I just felt like I was being a little bit redundant with those sizes I got it in New York City it was so fun I just went with my heart and I know this bag is very very trendy right now a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it um, but I had been wanting it for months and months I knew that so many people had it and so that kind of made me scared to buy it and I thought it was just gonna be too trendy it's gonna go out of style and I'm not gonna like it anymore and who knows, maybe in like five years, that'll still be the case. I mean, maybe I won't like it in five years. I have no idea, but I just loved it so much at the moment and even now, like I just love it. And honestly, I'm, I'm grabbing this like more than any bag I own. I, it just goes with so many things. This particular nude color is just so perfect for the summer, the fall, the winter. It just transitions from every single season perfectly if you're in the market for a nude bag definitely check this one out when you see it in person you'll love it even more it's just really like the perfect nude color okay so clearly i like this bag in my intro i was like "Ooh, do i love it do i hate it well obviously i love it but let's get into some more details about this bag so um let's do the dimensions first the dimensions are i have to check because i did not memorize this so the width is 12 inches and then the height is 7.5 inches and then this like the depth is that right? Depth? Yes. Depth is three inches. And then chain strap. So here is the chain. I love this chain. I just really, it like slides so easily. I love the sound of the chain. Um, and you know, it does have the gold chain along with these gold GG Marmont um, thing that they're very known for right now. Uh, but yes, the chain drop, you can either wear it crossbody like this. And I think it looks super, super nice crossbody. But then you can also do the shoulder, um, just, you know, just the regular over the shoulder. And this drop is 12 inches, but then if you go like this, then the drop is 22 inches. I am five foot five, and I think it's really easy to wear this both ways. And this bag is extremely lightweight. You know, it holds a lot, but it's not too heavy. And I love how this has the leather part 
part right here. I think some people, sometimes they think that, you know, maybe the leather part kind of takes away from the chain, but I love the fact that this has a leather part because it makes it so incredibly comfortable. Like it is so comfortable on my shoulder. If this was only chain the, the entire way, if I filled it up, you know, full, then this chain would definitely dig into my shoulder and it just wouldn't be nearly as comfortable. So I do want to say one con about this particular strap. And I don't know if it's just because it's so, you know, like easy to move the chain, but sometimes, and this doesn't happen all the time. And it also kind of depends on what I'm wearing. Like I almost feel like my shirt sometimes contributes to this, but if I'm, you know, going about my business, walking around, um, there are times that I'll like turn and this will slip off and it'll go like that. And like I said, it doesn't happen that often at all. I've just noticed it occasionally. And I just wanted to tell you guys that because I, you know, I want to include the pros and all of the cons that I have noticed. All right, and then to open this. So what you do, it's just this like push lock right under here. You just push this little button right under the GGs and it just pops open. So I actually love this opening. It is so easy, like really, really easy, especially when you're like in the grocery line and you just wanna get into your bag really quickly. It's just a really easy access type of a bag and I just really do appreciate that. But then when you open the bag, it has this really nice, um, definitely large spacious compartment here. It has two compartments inside. It has a zip compartment and then an open flap. And so my iPhone, you know, definitely fits in there really, really easy in both compartments. Um, they're definitely big enough so that if you have a larger iPhone, actually not an iPhone, maybe like an Android that is, you know, the larger ones or even an iPhone plus, it definitely fits in here very easily. And then the lining is a microfiber, like suede like lining. It is so, so, so soft. And don't worry at the end of the video, I am going to put all of my things in here that I normally carry. I'll put some things that I don't normally carry in as well, just to give you guys a reference of everything that it fits and how much you can carry. Okay. So back to the exterior of the bag. Um, like I mentioned, this is the GG Marmont um, logo here. That is like a new newer logo that they've introduced in the last, I don't even know, I think it's two years since the new um, director kind of came on board. I love it. I have a belt that has this design on it. I just personally really like it. I know like a lot of people don't really like it. And then on the back, we can't forget this heart. Again, this is another one of those love it or hate it. And in my case, I don't love it and I don't hate it. Like I'm not a huge heart person. Um, it does look a little bit childish in a way, but at the same time, like I never even think about it. I never see it. It's like on the inside. Um, some people just really, really, really love this and they just think it's like a fun detail added to the bag, but I just especially love the front of the bag and the color and just the overall bag. I'm just a big fan of the bag in general. So let me just talk, quickly talk about some of, you know, the overall pros and the overall cons. So for cons, I'll start with the bad and with the good because overall this is definitely a positive bag, but the cons, like I mentioned, are definitely, you know, occasionally the strap will slip off not that often, but it is a thing. And then the only other con, which hasn't even happened to me yet, but I could see it happening in the future, so I did wanna mention it, is you know, over time, this definitely is eventually going to wear. I have been wearing this bag a lot. It's not showing anywhere at all. I, I don't see scratches on the leather. I don't baby it. I mean, I'm not like throwing it around or anything, but at the same time, I'm definitely not babying it. I don't see any scratches on it. I don't see any like structure loss per se, but you know, it is a very squishy leather and I do know over time, it definitely will, you know, eventually it will lose its law, its its structure. Um, I could see up here eventually starting to, you know, lose its lose its form. I mean, it's not now or anything, but at the same time, you really wouldn't expect that to happen with a Chanel bag. This is so much cheaper than a Chanel bag, so you really, really can't compare the two. And I know everybody says that, you know, this is apples to oranges. This is a totally different type of a bag than a classic Chanel flap. But at the same time, I don't think this is obviously going to last and wear as well as a Chanel bag. But at the same time I just really 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 like it like I really 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 like this bag so let's go on with the pros okay so a lot of this is going to be kind of like a reiteration I overall just love the style of the bag I think it's super super in style um, I don't know, I just feel like any time I am wearing anything at all, if I put this bag on, I feel like a million bucks and I don't know what it is. I just genuinely feel so great in this bag. Even what I'm wearing now, like this shirt seriously is from Target. It's nothing special. I wore it to work. I just wanted to be warm. It's just like this kind of like really chilly day. It's like the beginning of September. It should not be this chilly outside, but I was just freezing today. So I put on this sweater. It's super inexpensive. I kind of don't feel like that great in it, 
but when I put this bag on with it, it just kind of like makes my, it just makes me feel better. So um, that is definitely a pro to this bag. If you love it, you just will definitely gravitate towards it. Now, as far as functionality is concerned, it's super easy to get into. It's very, very comfortable to wear. Um, it's very light. It holds a lot, especially this size. I do think the other sizes are roomy too, but obviously this is the largest, so it's going to hold the most. And I definitely am very happy and pleased with the amount that it holds, which you will see in a minute. Also, this is, like I mentioned, a very good price point compared to Chanel. So, you know, while $2,300 is a heck of a lot of money, like a lot is still a lot better than a lot of the designers out there. Okay, so now we are at the what's in my bag portion. I have my bag completely filled up with everything that I normally carry in this bag. So let me just show you what I have. So again, you just hit that button and then it pops right open. As you can see, it is definitely stuffed, um, but honestly, I could fit more. They could definitely fit a pair of sunglasses in there. And I always talk about how I never wear sunglasses. And so I never put those in my what's in my bag videos, but sunglasses would easily fit right on top there along with some other things too. But um, so anyway, yes, the familiar things in here are this Chanel card case. I feel like I should do a separate review fully on this thing because this is a beast. Like I am so happy with this mini wallet. Like seriously, I beat this thing up like crazy. I transitioned this into my work bag, back, like into every single bag all the time. It fell out of my pocket once and skidded across a concrete floor, like a concrete parking lot. And I was like, ah, and I ran over and there's literally not a mark on it. Um, it fits basically just my credit cards, money, and then there's some coins in there, but this, just basically my essentials in a wallet. Like I've just decided that, you know, here's my regular wallet, which I do really like this one. Um, this is the Clements wallet by, you know, Louis Vuitton, obviously. And I did a whole review and I totally love this wallet. Highly recommend it for a full size wallet, but I don't know. There's just something about this mini one and it makes me like love Chanel SLGs and this is the only one I have and it makes me feel like I need other ones like that Chanel O case that everyone keeps talking about like I don't know I don't I don't need it um, that's very similar to the mini pochette that I also carry and I've shown you guys like 15 million times okay not that many but like a lot of times what is in this um, I just actually did a video all about like the emergency items that I keep and take with me everywhere so that is um everything in here just basic necessities that you, you kind of want as a catch-all in your bag so here's my mini pochette that was in there too my mini wallet keys mini pochette and then obviously my cell phone and that usually i actually slip just right into this little slip pocket right there it's just easy to, to grab you know when i open my bag it's just right there and then also I, I have been carrying and shout out to a subscriber she mailed me this i have no idea if she made it but her name's amanda and it's basically just a little tissue um holder so you pull out the tissues and i'm always needing tissues especially with the kids um but yeah this is so cute i love how it's pink and it just fits in there really perfectly. It's really thin and it's just really cute. So thank you, Amanda. I really do appreciate it. And I'm actually carrying it in my bag and I love how, you know, you can, you know, fit new tissues in and it's just really cute. And then lastly, I have been carrying this notebook around with me everywhere that I can. It is basically, and I know you guys are probably gonna be sad, but I've been kind of transitioning to this notebook from my Louis Vuitton PM agenda, which again, like I really like this. It's just, I feel like with my YouTube channel and everything, the boys are, you know, now they're involved in things like my son's going to preschool. My littlest one really isn't involved in anything, but still like my, plus my work, I work full time in human resources. I only said human resources because I figured some people would ask what I do and I'm in human resources. So I just feel like I have a lot on my plate and and this just wasn't cutting it anymore. Um, it's just really unfortunate because I do genuinely love this. It's just, I feel like I'm trying to keep track of so many things, especially with my YouTube channel. And you know, I try to, I just get ideas about videos that I wanna do all the time. I'll start making notes about them. And this, there just wasn't enough room in this. Um, and I just got this at Target. And I, it, honestly, it's completely just a blank paid it's not even like an agenda i literally just like i'll do bullets i'll do paragraphs i'll do like bullet points like one two three four like i just basically um kind of just journal but make it my own agenda so anyway that is everything that it fits that i usually carry so i have like i said this huge notebook in there so that takes up a lot of space so if you didn't have this in there like me you could fit a lot more things in there um definitely this agenda you could honestly probably fit the larger agenda which is the mm size i don't have that one so i can't guarantee it but this this 
one I have from Target. That's like a legit notebook and it fits in here. If you do have just like a regular full size wallet, I mean, this is a full size wallet. It would fit in here with ease with lots of extra space. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my six ring key holder. Cell phone, of course, because that's essential. Mini pochette, so this would obviously just be any type of little pouch, a, you know, a catch-all, just anything that, you know, most women um, like to carry something like this. If they don't carry something like this, they might just have like the lip gloss, the floss, I always say floss, just chapstick, mascara, maybe a compact with a mirror, um, just, you know, essentials in, if they don't have it, they might just put it directly in here, but this definitely fits in here with ease. This could, let's just pretend that to be like anything, I don't know, but it's, you know, sizable, so that obviously still fits fits and then um, if you wanted to do an actual agenda then you could put that in there and as you can see it seriously still would fit a lot more you could definitely put a pair of sunglasses on top I'm um, trying to think of uh, what other things do people carry. I, I carry a lot of things with my kids. They're getting to the stage where like, I don't need to have diapers. I don't need to have a change of clothes with me wherever I go. I do put snacks and snacks like a pouch, whatever, like sometimes I'll put two pouches right here and that actually it does fit. And a pouch, if you're not a mom or you don't know what I'm talking about, those are just like little veggie and fruit snacks in a little pouch and they like squeeze them out. So it's just like a kind of a snack to have on the, on the go. And they love them. It just kind of like ties them over in the car or just wherever we're going I just like to have those with me so I usually put two pouches in and it definitely definitely fits um, it's not obviously going to fit like a water bottle or sippy cups or anything like that um, I wouldn't say this is like you know a diaper bag or anything but it definitely holds a lot and there's seriously still a lot of room in there okay so there we go so my overall thoughts the final verdict if you will is if you're interested in this bag or maybe a different size of this bag but this bag in general, I highly recommend it. I love it so much. I know I keep saying that, but it's just the honest truth. So if you guys do have any questions about it, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, I couldn't be happier with this. I'm really glad I followed my heart and kind of my gut and decided to purchase it. And I'm definitely getting, you know, a lot of use out of it. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I truly, truly do appreciate it. Anytime somebody takes the time out of their day to watch one of my videos. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I would love for you to do that. Uh, but otherwise, thank you again for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.